you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve a problem involving triangle and the question goes like this it says construct triangle a b c given the base b c 105 millimeter long the altitude 35 millimeter and vertical angle 60 degree now the first thing you have to do is you draw your horizontal line this way now that is my horizontal line and i'll pick a point let's say point what point b why am i choosing point b because we are told the base bc is 105 and bc is on this line here so the next thing i'm going to do is to measure the distance of what bc taking b as my initial point and taking zero as my initial point on my meter rule i'm going to measure 105 now from 0 to 10 is 100 from 0 to the line between 10 and 11 is 100 and what 105 so that point there will be my point what my point c right now the next thing is since we are told that it is a, it has a vertical um the vertical angle is what 60 degree right so that means the vertical angle will be on point a since this is b and c point a will be somewhere around here right now what we'll do here is this i'm going to construct an angle at this point b here at an angle of what i construct it at an angle of what 60 degree here so taking my meter rule i'll place it at b at any given radius right this is my point b here at any given radius and i'll draw an arc this way so where the arc cuts the horizontal line bc let me call that point to be point what point p at this point here so with the same radius i'll place my compass at point p in this manner right and i'll strike that arc so where it cut that arc i'll call it what point q this point we have here so i will draw a line that will pass through p b and q right that will pass through b and q this line here is what i'm having here so i'll draw a line that's passing through what? b and q right so i'll call that line line what line bq now the next thing i have to do is to draw a line that was perpendicular to what to bq how will i do that very easy just take any of your meter rule or your set square or any meter rule you take any of this number one two three or any number of your choice now i'm picking two now i'm sure that my two is aligned with what my line bq so look at the line bq and this is the line of two so i will ensure taking point b as my reference point now place it this way you can see that now in doing that now i will now draw a line this way so the any line i draw is perpendicular to what to bq so you can see that the line from here to here perpendicular right so let me call that line line what arrow right so this is b arrow here that we have here now the next thing i am going to do here now is to bisect bc right so i want to bisect bc so at any given radius right any given radius you place your compass at point b you strike an arc at any given radius i'll strike this arc this way this way i'll strike up and also i'm going to strike down also so let me just take it this way so i'll strike down too in this manner you can see that similarly i'll come to c i'll do the same thing with the same radius strike up and strike down this way so where they meet i'll call it point x and what point t so i'm going to join point x and t with my meter rule this way this is what we have here so where it intersects line b arrow is at this point here right so it intersected at this point here let me call it point arrow also does it call it point arrow or anything you can like as your choice i can use maybe the call it point z right because yours might be longer so this point it meets here is what point z so i'll now take my meter rule 
my compass i'll place it at arrow let's take this down a little bit i'll place it at arrow right with radius of b this manner you can see that and i'll draw a circle that's where the circle i'm drawing so the circle i just draw here now what i will now do is we're told that the vertical the altitude of the line is 35 millimeter right so what i will just do is i'll measure the five on this axis here is that again so if i place it here this is from from this point here to zero is 35 or i'll place it this way from zero right to this line here this point here is 35 you can see that so at that point there i'm going to take my c square my t square since i'm working on my t square and i'll move it to that point you can see that that point arrow to that point here that i measured that's five and i'll draw a line this way right so where the line hits this point will be my point a right so this is b c and this point a so i'm going to join if i wanted to come from this angle fine but i wanted to come from this side here so we'll call it what point a start taking now and here also can also be what i can make it to be what my point a too so i'll just join um the line of what bc i'll join the line of this point to this point you can see that i'll take in it and I'll also join this point to this point b to a i'll take in it and i'm going to join this point to this point below have a you can see that so this is the angle here so the angle between a and b here the angle between these two points here right that is the angle this will be what 60 what 60 degree 60 degree that will be the angle that we have there 60 degree so let's confirm to see if we are truly on track now if i take the zero and let the center point here with my point a in this manner and this is what we have here you can see that if you continue marking that you will discover that this is zero 10 20 30 40 50 and what 60 so the angle between here and here is what 60 degree this is how you can construct your what your triangle giving the altitude the base and what and the vertical angle right so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like and also share the video thanks for watching